back. Now, fruit farming is often regarded as a sure bet for new farmers or growers keen on recouping returns in a short period of time. But this type of farming has evolved, resulting in a lot of challenges. However, a farmer in Laikipia has devised a new method of keeping destructive birds and pests away from his farm. Our very own Dennis Otieno tells us more on this week's Smart Farm. <laughs> Necessity is the mother of invention, and the best of these inventions have been made during desperate times. Martin Wambogo, a fruit farmer in Laikipia, can attest to this adage. A visit to his farm tucked in the semi-arid plains of Ngobit village, located in South Imenti, the wreaths strapped on the fruit trees are clearly visible. From afar, they look misplaced, but Martin knows just too well what they mean for his two-and-a-half-acre farm. I've planted like uh, 2,300 fruits in this fruit, in this farm. And then I have planted about uh, 1,000 dragon fruits. The Christmas decos, they are good for reflecting the, the, the light. And when the, it is uh, sunshine, you find that uh, and, and, uh, there is a lot of weeds. Eh? They lime each to other. Yeah. The reflection of that light will keep off the birds. The 28-year-old farmer is today using the reeds to tackle the bird menace in his farm. He sources them from Nairobi's Kamukunji area, buying each at 60 shillings. Martin began his farming venture in August 2018. Wary of the harmful effects that chemicals pose, he opted to go organic. I had a superbike when I was in Nairobi. Uh, I sold it. Then I, I sold it at uh, 300,000. That money I used it uh, starting this farm. The trees were producing very well. You find that a tree is producing about uh, 1,500 fruits per season. And the harvest, I was harvesting about uh, 800 to 500 fruits. The rest was going to waste because the birds have already spoiled the, the, the rest of the fruits. Yeah, I had to think and think on how I can control the birds without harming them. Martin grows other fruits in his farm, and they include peaches, pepino melons, guavas, strawberries, blueberries, and apricots. However, the apples and dragon fruits account for 50% of the fruit trees here. To support growth of the dragon fruit, he uses these old motorbike tires. There are a lot of motorbikes all over Boda Bodas. So I've given them contract. You, you find a tire, old tire, you bring it to me, I exchange with a retro cash. I buy them at uh, 70 shillings. The tire will, will uh, reduce the friction and will support the dragon um, as it fruits. There is a lot of uh, weight on top of uh, uh, that post. So the tire will help to hold the, to support the weight. Well, it's pretty much an ingenious way of controlling pests in the farm. But having managed to minimize his losses, Martin is today smiling all the way to the bank after every harvest. A whole tree can produce about one carton once we are harvest. That carton carries about 18 kilos. One kilo I sell at uh, 400 per kg. Well, I was losing about um, 4,000 in every carton you harvest. So that was a big loss because, uh, because of the birds. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm. <laughs>